Welcome to Learn at Ease. In this video, I will explain the detailed understanding related to synthesis of insulin by beta cell of islets of Langerhans. So let's get started. The sketch showing the overview of insulin functioning that I explained in my previous video is shown here. If you want to know more about this sketch, go to my previous video and you would find its link in the description. In this video I will explain the process occurring inside the islets of Langerhans, by which insulin is synthesized. I will also focus on the conversion of juvenile insulin to its matured active form. So let's get started. The sketch of pancreas is shown here. Major portion of pancreas deals with producing digestive juices and contains ducts and this region is known as the exocrine portion. The narrow tail portion of the pancreas carries endocrine clusters of cells, known as islets of Langerhans. This tail portion of pancreas is endocrine in nature. Islets of Langerhans are 1 to 2 million in number and occupy 1% of total space of pancreas. Islets of Langerhans consists of four types of cells that are alpha, beta, delta, and PP cells. They produce glucagon, insulin, somatostatin, and pancreatic polypeptide. The arrangement of these cells in islets of Langerhans is remarkable. In the center, there is a cluster of beta cells, whereas, alpha cells are arranged in their periphery. Delta and PP cells are scattered throughout the islets of Langerhans and does not show any specific arrangement. These cells interact with one another in an paracrine fashion. That is when activated beta cells releasing insulin will inhibit alpha cells from secreting glucagon. So, in same way, glucagon secretion will inhibit beta cells to secret insulin, and secretion of somatostatin will inhibit release of both insulin and glucagon. Before proceeding further, you can pause the video to understand the arrangement of various cells in the islets of Langerhans. Now, we will focus only on beta cells, to understand the production of insulin. Inside the nucleus of beta cell, on short arm of chromosome 11, there exists a gene that codes for pre-pro-insulin. This gene is also abbreviated as INS. When this gene is transcribed, it produces mRNA of pre-pro-insulin, which will then be translated by eukaryotic ribosomes to produce pre-pro-insulin. Let us see the structure of pre-pro-insulin. This is a short peptide containing 110 amino acids. On its end terminal there exists a very short peptide known as, signal peptide, represented here in red color. Signal peptide is necessary as it allows this peptide to enter into the lumen of rough endoplasmic reticulum where it will be converted to pro-insulin. Once it enters the rough endoplasmic reticulum, proteases will act on it to remove the signal peptide by cleaving the peptide bond. Also, the three disulfide linkages that are required are formed here. Once these modifications occur, it becomes pro-insulin. It is then transported to the Golgi apparatus where it is processed by a series of proteases to form mature insulin. Here the pro-insulin is cleaved at two different locations by proteases as shown in the animation to yield C-peptide and mature insulin. Structurally, mature insulin has peptide A, which is 21 amino acid long and peptide B which is 30 amino acid long. The disulfide bonds occur between the 7th residue of the A and B chain, the 19th residue of the A chain and the 20th residue of the B chain, and the 6th and 11th residues of the A chain. The resulting molecule, a mature insulin, is stored in secretory vesicles that arise from Golgi apparatus. Inside these vesicles, three matured insulin molecules are bounded to one zinc molecule and stabilized until it is secreted which I will explain in my next video. Briefly, when glucose concentration in blood is spiked by assimilation of sugars from food, it enters inside the beta cells and drives a mechanism which will ultimately cause the fusion of vesicle containing insulin with cell membrane, and cause its release into the blood. To know more about this wonderful mechanism, stay tuned to my channel. Hope you enjoyed my video and feel free to share, like and comment. Subscribe to LAE. See you soon.